New at 10 tonight, we have new information on a deadly crash that took place in Siloam Springs. We're hearing from one of the victims inside a vehicle that crashed into the Siloam Springs Intermediate School. 5 News reporter Micah Wilson spoke with Dessa Watkins after spending more than a week in the hospital. She is now home. Just going to Walmart, doing family things, <laughs> buying everything for the house. And then we went to Little Caesars right afterwards. And I went to sleep, and that's all I remember. That's how 18-year-old Dessa Watkins describes the night of February 28th. She says her and two friends, 32-year-old Tyler Matthew and 25-year-old Nathalia Wiggins, were in a car that crashed into Asylum Springs Intermediate School. According to police, the car was traveling around 70 miles per hour in a 35-mile-per-hour school zone. Dessa was admitted to the hospital and was on life support. My jaw got broken. I have stitches all over my head. Two days later, she woke up and heard the news about her friends in critical condition. 25-year-old Nathalia Wiggins did not survive. Um, those were some of her really good friends that was in the vehicle with her. I kept telling myself that everyone was okay because we're not a weak family. <laughs> we're not weak people. The driver, 32-year-old Tyler Matthews, is still in critical condition. Dessa is now back home and slowly recovering. I have some, a lot of physical therapies to do with her face. Um, and some speech. Although Dessa says she sees this as an unfortunate accident, she is still grateful. I am very blessed about the situation. I'm blessed that I made it out and it sucks that we weren't all blessed like that, but. In Salem Springs, Michael Wilson, 5 News. Salem Springs police telling us the driver, Matthews, has not been charged in this incident at this time and an impairment investigation is still underway tonight.